This chemistry class again, welcome to School of Chemistry. Today we'll be taking a look at the concept of the preparation of ethanol by fermentation. First, let's look at what is fermentation. Fermentation is the slow decomposition by microorganisms of large organic molecules such as starch into smaller molecules such as ethanol. A common microorganism used in fermentation is yeast. It contains a variety of enzymes that bring about the decomposition of starch and sugars to ethanol. Now, production of ethanol, let's look at it from starchy foodstuff. Starchy foodstuffs like potatoes and cereals, e.g. rice, maize, guinea corn, millet and belly, are the main source of ethanol in many countries. What happens? How do we do it? The starch granules are first extracted by crushing and pressure cooking the material. They are then treated with mold at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius for an hour. Mold, what is mold? Mold is partially germinated belly or millet, which contains the enzyme diatase. The starch is then converted by this enzyme into maltose. We have the equation. Starch, which is 6 6 h 10 o 5 the two molecule combination with water will give you maltase via the action of diatase. So that is how it's produced. And then, at room temperature, yeast is then added. Yeast contains two enzymes. One is maltase, which converts maltose to glucose. Let's look at the equation. The formula for maltose is C12H22O11. If you add water and maltose, it gives you glucose, which is C6H12O6. So we have maltose on the left, and then glucose is produced on the right. The second enzyme is second enzyme from yeast is zymase, which converts glucose to ethanol. So ethanol and carbon dioxide is produced from glucose in the presence of what? Zymes. So zymes break down glucose and ethanol and carbon dioxide are produced in the process. So the two enzymes from yeast are what? Martis and zymes. Right, Martis converts malt to glucose. Zymes converts glucose